Today, the 22nd day of the second month of the 2022nd year on our calendar is the twoiest day for 100 years. Plus, it's also a Tuesday. Yeah. And as you can imagine, people around the country are embracing the date. Here's Joe Fryer with more. This year, President's Day, a day dedicated to Washington and Lincoln, patio furniture sales, was merely a patriotic prelude to a holiday truly like no other, 22222, which by some stroke of luck happens to fall on a Tuesday. It also happens to fall on National Margarita Day, making it really easy to plan your party menu. And if you need something to wear, check out this novelty t-shirt, which is declared 22222 Nacho Average Taco Tuesday. No worries if you get cheese sauce on the shirt, it's useless after today. If that's not your style, the Atlanta Mom website suggests another fashion statement, two twos in honor of five twos. Wedding chapels in Las Vegas are betting on big business. Well, Sacramento is hosting a big ceremony. 222 couples will get married at the state capitol, starting at 2, ending at 222. Perhaps those brides and grooms think the palindrome brings good luck or peace or something bigger than all of us. Or maybe it's just easier to remember. No doubt babies born today are hitting the birthday jackpot with a lifetime of 22222 just rolling off their tongues. And how about those who turn 22 today? One celebrant told the Washington Post, it's been the birthday I've waited for. I actually didn't care about my 21st at all. We got a taste of this imaginary holiday earlier this month on February 2nd to 222. But it was overshadowed by the groundhog who was, well, overshadowed. Before that, it was 1-11-11 more than 11 years ago. We won't get a 3-33-33 unless March is somehow magically extended to include a March 33rd. So let's make the most of this February 22nd with margaritas and tacos, two twos, and two lips. After the last two years, we've earned. That was NBC's Joe Fryer reporting, and as you just heard, we won't get a 3-33-33, but we will get a 3-3-33, March 3rd, 2033. Something to look forward to in 11 more years. So we wanted to celebrate this day of twos by highlighting some things in Maine that come in pairs. Right, things like Paul Bunyan and his axe. Bangor is one of the many towns across the country that claims to be the origin for the famous lumberjack. And a statue in his honor has been standing in the Queen City for more than six decades. Uh, then there's this one, one of my favorites, fairs <laughs> and food. From the Common Ground Fair to the Freiburg Fair, Maine celebrates its agricultural heritage at the end of every summer. And at every fair, you can get your fill of rich food, including main staples like whoopie pies, moxie, and of course, red snappers. Another inseparable duo, summertime and construction on the roads. Oh, yeah. Maine's winters make it difficult to impossible to resurface, repair, or rebuild a damaged road, so that work is typically handled in the summertime. Serious road problems tend to flare up in the winter, too, as freezing water under roads creates cracks, divots, and potholes in tar. One more classic Maine combination is Allen's Coffee Brandy and milk. It's paired, a pair that's well loved around the state and as Rob Caldwell found out in 2015, the cocktail commonly called a sombrero has a number of locally inspired nicknames. The famous one is, I don't know if I should say it, is fat ass in a glass. When they say that, do they say it with a smile? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. No, it's said with affection. It's a term of endearment. <laughs> And the names do not end there. They come in and ask for a chocolatey, Bitterford Martini. And there's also the Lewiston Martini. Whiskey. Down East Panty Remover. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I've never actually seen that happen, but I've heard rumors <laughs> of that too. <laughs> All of the names. Oh my God. We get a lot more news ahead, and Zach Blanchard oh. will join Samantha right after the break with your rundown. I'll be back at five.